Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Um, I want to say thank you on all the support on the newest video I made, celebrating 500 subs. Um, you guys are fucking amazing. Just thank you so much. It means a lot. I love you all. But yeah, anyways, today I'll be doing Ghostface versus the Wraith in Dead by Daylight. Today I'll be breaking down which killer I think is stronger and why, and who knows how long this video will be. This is the third episode of this series, and you guys enjoy it so far. So today I'm doing another one. And yes, my mic. My new mic, sorry, is currently on charge, by the way. That's why I'm not using it, so I'm using my old mic for today. I do apologise, but tomorrow my new mic will be back. But, it isn't too bad, I guess. Let's get into it. So, what I usually do, I break down which colour is stronger and why. And I will not be basing which colour I think is stronger off this gameplay in the background. The gameplay in the background is simply for entertainment, just so you guys don't get bored watching it. And just have two different gameplays, because why the fuck not? So, straight up, I'm going to say this and explain why after. I'm going to, this may be a really fucking bold statement, but I'm going to be fucking honest. I think, Ghostface is a weaker Wraith. A thousand fucking percent. Um, a hundred percent. Now, let me say why. Well, both have the ability to go into stealth mode, um, which is undetectable. But here's, <laughs> which make, here's what makes Ghostface way weaker. A, Ghostface can't always go into undetectable mode. He has a cooldown. Uh, Wraith goes completely invisible basically, so you can not see Wraith like you can see Ghostface. And finally, Wraith has way much more smart pressure then Ghostface because of the speed you have in Cloak. Yes, the base speed in Cloak obviously got buffed a few months ago for Wraith. And yeah, uh, it basically makes Ghostface look like shit. A faster Ghostface, an invisible Ghostface, and just a Ghostface with an infinite power. Now you're probably wondering, oh, but uh, can't Ghostface expose players? But that's not how you efficiently play Ghostface at the higher level. Yes, I am basing this off the higher level. You do, not co you do not play Ghostface like this at the higher level, stalking all the time. You can get a few stalks in there like at the start, 99ing, but most of the time you're not going to be able to get it and you're going to be wasting a lot of time. How you play Ghostface is very similar to Wraith, you hit and run, simple. Hit and run. Hit and run is a really good tactic for both of these killers because they're stealth. So as Wraith you hit the survivor and if they get to a safe tower or just any decent tower for, you to, uh, for them to loop you longer than 10 seconds. Then you simply go back into visible, um, go find someone else and sneak up on them, then use nurses, and then yeah, just be really confusing, because the whole point of hit and run is to be confusing, because they don't know where you are when you're in the stealth, and you're just leaving people, hitting them, and then using nurses and sloppy to capitalise. Well, you'd have to use sloppy, but you guys get what I mean. Aura seeing and just invisibility is probably the best tactic to use when playing a self killer, so hit and run. You do not always want to use your stealth as ghost, uh, your stalk as ghost face, so stalking as ghost face isn't strong at all. It just feels like being a Myers. And I, in the future, I will do a Myers versus ghost face comparison for who I think stronger out of those two. But sh like sh th that's what I'm going to say. Ghost face is a much weaker wraith. Why? Both similar powers. The difference in the powers is the strengths. They have the same power, undetectable. But the strengths of Wraith is much higher because A, hit and run is easier because you always have your power. B, uh, you're basically invisible and C, you're really quick so you also have map pressure. Yes, you do not have strengths in 1v1, but it isn't about strengths in 1v1, it's about hit and running. You do not 1v1 with these two killers, you just hit and run because you have the stealth and the perks to back it up with aura seeing or maybe even the add-on. That's the whole point of hit and running. Um, so yeah, you play... Ghostface and Wraith completely different to any other killer. If you played them like a normal killer, like a normal M1 killer, they'd be really bad. That's why you have to use a certain tactic on Wraith specifically because you're fucked. So yeah, Ghostface is literally a much weaker hit and run version of Wraith. Uh, like, you literally barely have your power, stalk isn't efficient at all, and I think it's really deplorable a deplorable mindset to have when playing Ghostface if you always want to try and get them stalks. Like, at the start, maybe you can 99 a couple of survivors, that's cool. 
that's the one thing you want to do with Ghostface, maybe 99 them every now and then, but don't always try and consistently stalk, that's just going to fuck you over, and hit and run for Ghostface is gone. Ghostface's hit and run is nothing compared to Rafe's, uh, like, yeah, you can be a bit better at 1v1, I guess, because uh, with Rafe, you're always in cloak, and you can't attack. With Ghostface, you can be in stealth mode, but you can attack, so in a 1v1 at towers, you can use stealth and lose your red stain and get him down. But you're wasting your whole power just to get him down at a tower, which is not guaranteed. It's just making the the uh, chances much higher for you to get him down. But it doesn't matter because both Wraith, Wraith always has 1v1 built in in that sense as well. Goes back into clo uh, cloak, massive speed, comes out of it. And then obviously you've got that massive lunge when you come out of cloak and that can always give you the big lunge. So Wraith's hit and runs basically built in and set up because of the... Uh, massive lunge and the ability to go into your power consistently with Ghostface you have to play hit and run and Ghostface for him to be the most efficient but hit and run and Ghostface isn't built in like Wraith right because Wraith always has his power Wraith can have bigger lunges which can easily set up um, hit and run and Wraith just has massive map pressure as well compared to Ghostface um, yeah it's crazy so literally Ghostface is a much weaker Wraith, a much weaker hit uh, hit and run Wraith, honestly. I know that sounds a bit shitty to say. No, it doesn't mean I hate Ghostface at all, I love Ghostface, obviously. I think playing Ghostface is more fun than Wraith. Actually, maybe not, but I don't know. I don't dislike Ghostface at all. Ghostface is much weaker than Wraith, and that's the brutal fucking honesty. I mean, what? You can't get used out of your stalk, can you? Let's be honest. Can you really get used out of your stalk? That's Ghostface. Maybe a couple during the match, but... They can always just throw down pallets early, so yeah. You're not always guaranteed to stalk. Um, you have no map pressure, basically. You move really slowly. You can't basically go invisible. And the ability to use your stuff at chases is basically pointless because you're using your whole power gorge just to maybe get it down easier. Like, it's not going to change too much. And you're basically risking... You're, you're just as a killer, just to play a bit better. With Wraith, everything's already set up, hit and run's already set up in Wraith, with Ghostface it isn't. And yes, you do need to hit and run with both of these killers. And that's why I think Wraith's hit and run is much more sufficient and much more optimal than uh, Ghostface's. I love both characters, both extremely strong. Um, both can take on good, actually no, Wraith can take on good teams, Ghostface can't really take on good teams at all, which kind of sucks. Um, as I said, I'm not basing the gameplay in the background. Of this comparison, I'm honestly not. I played both of these killers multiple times. Um, yeah, both cool killers, I guess, in their own way. Uh, but yeah, Wraith's just way stronger than Ghostface. Ghostface is just a poor man's Wraith. That's what I'm going to say. Literally, a poor man's Wraith. I have no reason to believe that Ghostface is any better than Wraith. Uh, yeah, obviously, Wraith is stronger. Um, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think Ghostface is stronger? Please try and give counterpoints to what I've been saying in this video. I'll go over again why I think Wraith is stronger. Wraith has much more map pressure because of his speed base by the way. Uh, big lunge, basically invisible, hit and run already built in. I said why? Because of the big lunge and the, visibility, uh, the ability to always consistently use your power without a cooldown which is really cool. Um, and yeah, Wraith is <laughs> way stronger than Ghostface. Um, I see that some people always say Ghostface is stronger but never give like an indicative reason b but behind why they think that they just be like oh well Ghostface is better than Wraith because he can hit in stealth just some shit like that I've heard by the way so that's what I'm saying I'm kind of mocking it but like even if that was the case you're not always guaranteed the down because you go in stealth the survivor can just play way more safe and throw down a pallet on you and there you go, you've wasted your whole power just to try and get a down 5 seconds quicker. Like, even if it does work straight away as soon as you go in stealth and you outplay them at a, a towel, you're saving yourself 5 seconds just to use your whole power and you go on like a 20 second cooldown, which is just ridiculous. So, you're basically risking the whole game, or a lot of time, just to get a, a quicker down by 10 seconds, which is just stupid as fuck. Yeah, anyways, that's what I think. I think race much stronger than Ghostface. I love the killers. I love both of them, obviously. Why wouldn't I? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.